Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can give OneDrive access to your device storage. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open File Explorer or you can just go to the Start menu and search for File Explorer. Once you do that, go ahead and uh, click on it. And then once you're here, as you can see guys in the left, you're going to find all of the sections and you're going to find home gallery and right here you're going to find OneDrive. So go ahead and right click on it. Then here you're going to find all of these options. You're going to find the option to copy it, open a new tab, open a new window, pin to quick access, pin to start. And right here, as you can see guys, you're going to find the option to always keep on this device, free up space. And right here, as you can see guys, you're going to find OneDrive. Right here, you can view online. Here you're going to find settings. So go ahead and click on settings. And then once you do that, first of all, go to account and make sure you have this PC linked. And then once you do that, go ahead and click on sync and backup. And then once you're here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find backup important PC folders to OneDrive. Backup your desktop documents and picture folders to OneDrive so they're protected and available on other devices. Go ahead and click on manage backup. And then make sure you enable all of these options right here, documents, picture, desktop, music, and videos. And then once you finish, go ahead and click on save changes. And then you're good to go. After you click on save changes, go ahead and enable also these uh, two options. Save photos and videos from devices. Save photos and videos to OneDrive when I connect a camera, phone, or any other device to my computer. You can also enable this option to saving screenshots you capture to OneDrive. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.